Hi, welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin on Etsy. My quilt wall is blank, so I'm going to have to fix that soon. But today we are working on sewing a Jenny doll formal dress like the long pink one shown on this pattern. The name of this pattern is 3576 by Simplicity. I'm going to move the camera to my hands now and show you what we have going on here. Okay, so I already have the bodice cut out. The skirt has been cut out on the fold. In order to sew a full length formal gown, I add a half an inch to the hemline so that I can make a larger hem and not have to mess with a narrow hem. So now we are ready to go ahead and sew our bodice. I have two pieces cut out exactly alike. They are face down, okay, with the matching sides together, and we're gonna go ahead and sew this. It's 110 degrees here today in Southern Illinois, so it's a good day to stay in and sew, actually. I'm going to sew around the armholes. Next, I'm going to get in with my small embroidery scissors and I'm going to clip the curves up to the stitch line. Next, I'm going to sew around the neck. It's a square neck, so you want to stop and dig into the point, turn your piece of material, and then continue on. After the neck has been sewn, you're going to now clip the curves so that it lays down nice and flat. Just taking some little, some little cuts up to the stitch line. Make sure you do not cut through the stitch line. Take out your pins. We're now going to flip the fabric inside out, which is sometimes tricky. Okay, there's one side. Now we're going to pull through the other side. I currently have one of these little dresses listed on my website on Cottage Designs by Erin on Etsy. It has five watchers. 
So I guess this is a look that people like. All right, so now we flipped it inside out. This is what we have. We are going to then sew the waist seam. We do that by flipping it over and go ahead and sew the edge of the waist. You wanna make sure that all pieces are together. I like to backstitch because you don't want the armhole to rip out if you dress her a lot. Do the same thing on the other side and make sure that you have them facing the same direction or you'll have one arm going one way and one arm going the other. Look and see um, where, how far up you sewed on the last side. These pieces are very tiny, except for the skirt. It's a little bit large, I guess, for Jenny. Okay, so now we flip this inside out. And we have our cute little bodice for our dress. Our skirt is already sewn, so we're going to shear up the skirt and get it onto the bodice. Here is our center crease on the skirt, so that's how we know where the middle is at. I'm going to put a pin in that. All right, so let me go ahead and shear this up. Notice I've cut this out with pinking shears so that it will not unravel. I'm going to take a pin and remove the first stitch so that we can shear this up. We're going to shear half of it to the middle of our blue pin. I know I'm throwing you in this video. Usually I use a purple pin. Then we are going to shear the other half up. also to the crease, which is right here. We want it nice and tight because we have to get all of this great big skirt on that little bitty bodice. Okay, I think that's as far as I can go with it. We are now going to put the bodice facing down with the neck down up inside the skirt. And we're going to pin it on. It takes a lot of pins. Since I'm using cotton, I'm using quilters cotton um, pins that will not they won't damage the fabric because that's what they're made for. It holds it in place nice and tight. As you pin it on, you want to pull your gathers down nice and flat so that every gather has its own spot on the bodice. And we'll lay, lay down nice and evenly. I have already made the matching panties to go with this dress, and I have a video on just how to make Jenny panties. So if you go back and you click on my videos, 
the heading that says videos, you can click on that and um, there's one on there that shows you how to make those. Okay, I've lost my gather, so I've got to pull it up again to get it on here nice and tight at the very end of the bodice. Okay, I'm now going to put this under my pressure foot and we are going to hopefully get it all sewn on. I really hate sewing the skirt on, on the video because it's so nerve wracking. my presser foot is wanting to uh, fall off, which is not helping my cause. All right, so we're going back to straight stitch on my machine. It's a number one with a two and a half on top and three and a half on bottom. We're going to push all the skirt through as you push the skirt through, keep your fingers inside and try to see if you are getting the bodice sewn to the skirt and are not just willy-nilly going about it. Okay, I'm part of the way across. I'm going to now stop there and take out my pen. And I'm going to try to make it the rest of the way across the skirt. Okay, I'm going to cut off the end strings. Now, before I go around the skirt and zigzag it on, I'm going to make sure that I have got it on here straight and that everything is caught. Oh, there's another big long gathering string. Okay, so normally I don't take my pins out. I just go ahead and do it. But with these longer skirts, they're kind of new to me, so I want to check it first before I zigzag it on here. And make it permanent. Okay, so look. We have our cute little bodice sewn on our great big skirt. I did not put um, any rickrack or anything on this because I'm going to tie it at the waist with a pretty little ribbon. So now that I know it's, it's on straight, I'm going to go back around and I'm going to zigzag the waist so that it doesn't come undone. So I'm going to put it on a number four with the two inch stitch on top and three and a half on bottom. I'm going to zigzag just above the stitch line just to secure the gathers and to tidy up the way so that there's no stray strings. Now we're going to cut off any unnecessary strings. I have my beautiful little red-headed Jenny. Look at the fullness of the skirt. Shazam. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. We've got this great, big, full, glorious skirt with this little bitty, pretty little bodice in the center. Okay. Now, Jenny is already wearing the coordinating panties. Going to slide her in here. Her baby, her hair gets in the way a lot.
Oh, look at this. Now she looks like she's going to a beautiful fall formal. And I'm going to pin it in the back until I have a chance to um, sew on the snaps and also tie the ribbon at the waist. And get, get her on the doll stand. I'm going to put her on Sissette's doll stand. It's a little too big. A little too big for her. But anyway, you get the idea that I put her on the too tall uh, stand. Which is why it's not going down all the way. It doesn't, it's not, this is not the right, it's not the appropriate stand for her. But anyway, when she's on the shorter stand, the dress will touch the table and it will be the appropriate length. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so I will probably put a sash at the waist and a corsage at the neck and she will be ready to go. Thank you for tuning in to my channel to make this beautiful formal Jenny dress. Please come back in the future for new videos and subscribe. Thank you.